second time playing Fallout 76 the last time I just got out of the vault, which took way too long because of my curiosity. But here we go. Just so all one of my subscribers know, I am actually from West Virginia, so while I'm playing this, I'm going to try to keep an eye out for things I recognize and know. And I've played every Fallout since Fallout 3. <laughs> it's Fallout, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4. I have completed uh, Fallout 3. <laughs> I think I did the final main story mission on that one. And it's kind of the same with the uh, Elder Scrolls series. I started with Morrowind, played the expansions, never <laughs> finished any of the games. Uh, Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, you know, just really like the open worldness of Bethesda games but sometimes it's a bit too big to finish all of it for me but I'm gonna try to do what I can here on Fallout 76 since you know it's set in an area that you know I'm familiar with all right here we go so like I said the last time I uh, escaped the vault. What a fun task. And, uh, I don't know how most people play Bethesda games, but I am a uh, super hoarder. Hmm. Two options here. Let's go this one. Definitely doesn't last like it used to in these games. That's an odd bit. Uh, so the Soviets apparently sent these robots over here to liberate us after the bombs fell and uh, filled them up chock full of propaganda pamphlets, but they're distributing them, they seem to favor uh, shooting us. Maybe they don't leave them on our corpses so that way they know we have them. Like I said, prolific Bethesda hoarder right here. It has like a glow to it. Hmm. Some lighting effects. Never a 
bad place to start. Classic Fallout song. Hmm. Always check the ammo boxes and first aid boxes. It's weird how uh, how long after a war skeletons can stay decomposing on the ground here. things real quick. Check my inventory to see if I found anything even remotely resembling a weapon. Nope. I've got the pitchfork to keep some range between me and those other doubles. tracker. What the hell is going on there? I'll look that up later. I guess I maybe should head towards the first quest objective to give me a little bit more of an outline of what I should be doing in this game. Before running the death claws or whatever this game's equivalent is. The hell just hit me. Okay, alright, towards the main objective. It's the tiniest tire I've ever seen on the back of a dirt bike. How the hell do the wheels even get power? Oh, is it just a jet powered bike? That's what it looks like. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. on 
what I should try to do in this game or how I should try to play it, feel free to leave me a comment. Dilly instead of Billy. Guess proving my hillbilliness. My ineptitude of spelling. God, I wish I could sprint for more than a half a second. in here. That's actually the state flower of West Virginia. Now just the cattails. Nope. Here in a second. It looks like this is about the terrain. It is about as steep as West Virginia is in a lot of places. And the tree cover isn't quite as heavy, but I understand avoiding that because uh, nobody wants a game where you can only see 30 feet. So, especially when you got super mutants and Death claws and Yao Guai coming at you all day long. These mirrors that kind of look like the hemp from uh, Rust, if any of you have played it before. which is all I'm interested in right now is trying to get me a damn gun so that I can waste all my ammo missing those robots Cutting wood over there yet? I've been working West Virginia lumber yard for a few weeks now, and it's a world of difference. Better pay, better hours, and best of all, no robots. I talked to the foreman here, and he's looking for a few more guys. You better grab the gang and head over here before somebody else fills your spot. Paul. Oh. Well, I think we uh, know why uh, there's uh, job openings here. Remember that fella down there? Ugh. Actually, something kind of interesting about West Virginia culture is, uh, you know, people wanting cold jobs back, not realizing that uh, robotics and automation is the reason it doesn't take 500 men to pull out, you know, 50 ton of coal every week, because they have these automatic load haul dumpers, LEDs, that are pretty effective at getting coal out from between two layers of rock 
and back to the exit without getting hurt, getting black lung, or filing an insurance claim whenever an accident occurs. Does not require punch like this guy. Or lavatory facilities dispensing desirable wood products. Huh. So much for the no robots at this one, they are. <laughs> well, you've kept this area pretty clean so far. Four of these are the places to be. Alright. I think I'm gonna change the station and see if uh Bethesda bought any new music rights. Since Fallout 4. Bobblehead. We're not on combat. Shit. What the hell? I'm gonna sneak around here a little bit now. Well, that is pretty interesting. So, looks a lot like a ghoul. But with crystal growth all over it. Maybe glass shards embedded all in it. Hmm. Wait. This place looks like it's still in operation. I mean, those are pretty fresh looking bales of hay coming out of that little warehouse. Oh, I forgot to check the vending machine. Uh, like hmm. Alright. Yeah, like us. Oh, shit. Yeah, they didn't notice me yet. Let's see if that's good. Now, yeah, what the hell? I've got full health. Can we get some fools? Oh, shit. You got a gun. I'm sure I'm ready for this. Jeez. Oh. Well. Remember to watch out for the petrified corpses. Maybe loot everything else in the area before you mess with them because they leave out a cloud of radioactive dust, it looks like. Python joke for the three of you who might 
watch that if I ever get to a thousand subscribers. <laughs> All right. Although, doing my highly skilled walking abilities, probably not likely anytime soon. An airplane? It indeed was an airplane, it looks like. like it used to. No. There we go. That's interesting. So if you press uh, up on the D-pad, get your favorite wheel. Right on the D-pad. I guess I have a stem pack set there, which I kind of needed anyway. And left on the D-pad cycles through your weapons. Like uh, a lot of people don't know, but radial engines actually have an odd number of cylinders almost every time. I don't know of any that don't, and that's uh, yeah, a pretty little interesting thing. It looks like they paid attention to when they designed that model. Feel free to go Google it. Ooh. Search on Google for it. I guess Google doesn't like people saying Google as a verb because... Appreciates their ownership of the name. Yep, figured that was radioactive. It only took me uh, 25 minutes to do it. Not too bad if you ask me. Weapon workbench. My stash. Some supplies. Free for the taking, it looks like. Maybe I might be able to make some armor now. I saw some leather in there. Armor workbench. I think it's an extra camp stove. Or camp kit. In case you forgot to grab one on your way out the vault. Because besides that, there wasn't a lot to grab except for a couple of uh, game hollow tapes from the overseer's computer and the computer in your room at the beginning. Looks like they borrowed. Mm -hmm. They used the crafting system that was uh, available in Skyrim and somewhat in Fallout 4. Overseer's log. Hmm. Alright, good deal. Alright, it's my first camp. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video there, guys. Uh, I'll have another one up here in just a little bit.